Welcome back, everybody. It's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori for the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. Yes, and once again, Dr. Lori has a theme for us this week. We are guessing the value of three items that all sparkle and shine. Mm. So first up is a, a ring. We'll get to that in a second, but we have to talk to you about your Halloween display. Are you into Halloween? Is this a holiday you enjoy? I like Halloween because I love candy. I am a chocoholic. I love it. <laughs> I'm yes. right with you. I, like I don't it. understand these people who like Swedish fish better than chocolate. No. Give me yeah, chocolate. Don't give me, no, I don't want a gummy worm or any no. of that. Oh. I want chocolate. I'm right there with you. I'll take the gummy worms. Oh, uh, okay. You can have them. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Save them all for me. The gummy worms, the Starburst, the, Starburst, the Skittles. Oh, I'll take a Starburst every once in a while. All right, we, we need to get to our items. And first up is a ring sent in by Janice. So tell us about this, Dr. Laura. I've never seen anything quite like it. You know, it's very notable that we're talking about artifacts in the exhibits all over Pittsburgh. Uh, and this particular piece and all the things that we talk about are your artifacts, artifacts that relate to your family history. This piece, and thanks to all the viewers for sending in so many pieces, we appreciate that, is an Eastern Star ring. It's from the 1940s. It's gold with enamel decoration, has the symbols on it as well. It's a five-pointed star, and it, it relates to the group associated with the Freemasons, mm. known as the Eastern Star, and they were associated with the Freemasons, the Masonic Orders, um, starting in the 1850s. And the difference with this group was that men and women could be part of the Eastern Star. So this is a ring that you would get if you were part of this organization. And as I remember growing up when we talked about the Masons, it was like a big deal to, to get your hands on one of those rings because truly you had to be a member to be able to have one, right? That's exactly true and that's true of the Eastern Star as well. Um, Freemason, I get a lot of, I do a lot of appraisals for Freemason free artifacts. So there's a lot of collectibles that have to do with that particular organization. That's not unlike other organizations. And it's you know, made out of gold? The, you know, the rotary, the rest of it. So that's very true. Anytime you're part of a group community, those artifacts usually um, relate and, and have value and interest. And what you do did, you think? You did say it's made out of gold, right? It's gold. gold. Gold and enamel. Okay. Oh. The color is enamel. The rest of it is actually cast metal gold. Okay, I'm, I don't know, I might be going too big, but I'm going. Here we go. So. 325. I said 300. <gasps> $400 is what it's worth. Oh, Katie is off and running with the first point. There we go. All right. Redeeming myself from last time. <laughs> All right, so up this, next is what? We got a flatware set sent in by Jay. Hmm. That, that flatware set is in its original storage and display Box. It is a service for, it's 52 pieces, it's a service for eight, that's um, teaspoons and forks and serving spoons and knives in its original box. It's silver plated, mm -hmm. it's made by the Rogers Brothers, uh, a lot of people have them and you are guessing for the service for eight of silver plated flatware as well as the box. Okay, oh. and, and it was when you mentioned the maker of this, is this American or is this from Europe? Rod, yes, Rogers Brothers made a lot of pieces, a lot of flatware sets in in silver plate, and yes, they're the, from the United States. Okay, all right. Well, I'm trying 19, to remember. 19, mid 20th century, 1950s, 1960s. Oh. Oh. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, oh, wait, 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 don't show me anything. Don't show me anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't show us skin. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I did it. All right. Give us a okay. Right. I didn't say it. I said 350. I went way lower than that. I, I said 130. $150 is what it's <gasps> worth. We're all tied up. Oh, I love oh, a good tie man. going into the last round, Dr. Laura. Rubber match. All right, so go. this is a necklace sent in by Mary. Tell us about it. Austrian pink crystals. <gasps> we love this, David. We, we do, Austrian okay. Austrian pink crystals, circa 1960s. I always give David the hint about jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, I appreciate double it. strand <laughs> necklace with it's graduated that means the beads of course at the bottom get bigger and then they get smaller as they go up toward the clasp um, these are called bicone beads that means that they have 
two cones, two cones connected to one another. So they go sort of like two ice cream cones if you put the, the large part where you put the ice cream up against each other. They're called bicone beads. Huh. And they're relatively desirable. Um, you can see that this particular um, set, Austrian crystals, but the actual necklace was made in the United States. Austrian crystals, oh, okay. Austrian. Austrian crystals. No. So they're right. crystals. Yeah. They're not. They're not a gemstone. They're bicone. So if I can make like ice cream cones, this is the part where the ice cream goes on the top. Mm -hmm. if you put them together. The points are called bicones. If you look at those beads, you can see the bicone beads, which are rare beads. Not every single necklace will have them. Usually, round beads are what we see. Okay, oh, I, I just don't know. But, no but, but, idea. I'm pointing yeah. this stuff out because it's special, and usually if something special, the value goes up. Okay, all right. Oh, nuts. I'm not just talking to talk. No, <laughs> no, no, no. We're listening. <laughs> we are. I, I said 420 $255 is what it's worth. Well, you're closer. <laughs> that right. means Katie wins. <laughs> That's fantastic. Wow, Katie! <laughs> Nicely done, Katie. You know what? It's, I felt like it was my day today. I'm bouncing back from my scramble this morning. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Dr. Lori, and thanks to everyone for sending us your photos. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at katieka.com, and maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. You just never know. You just never know. Up